back with another Photoshop tutorial, and this time I'm going to be running you through Photoshop layers, or simply layers. Photoshop layers are one of the most basic things that you'll need to get to grips with if you want to continue and get good at, basically, Photoshop. Layers are basically what controls the whole image that you want to create, or whether you're editing a previously made image, you'll probably need layers at least once or twice. Um, probably more if you're doing website graphics and things like that. So I'm going to give you like a basic tutorial on layers and how to use them and also the layer effects that come with them. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Adobe Photoshop, whatever version you've got. Wait for it to load, you know, grab yourself a bowl of cereal. I like Cheerios, but um, whatever you like, that's cool. Uh, I don't mind, I'm not going to judge. Okay, so now that it's loaded, you should go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you should see a thing that says layers. If you don't, I'm going to show you how to get it up right now. So that's not a problem. Uh, it may appear, it may not, uh, it just depends. So you go to the top and you go to Windows, you go down to Layers, there we go. Click on it once and if you go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, the Layers box has now appeared. Um, so now that's, that's appeared, we're going to create a new Photoshop document. So new, change the pixel width, so I'm going to have 800. Um, sorry, 600 uh, by 200. And obviously, feel free to change any settings that you want. I'm going to have a background as white and whatever you want. And once you're happy with your settings, simply click OK. Um, and now we're going to go to the arrow tool. And if we go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, um, we should see one layer. And as you know, it's called background. We well, may not know, but it is called background because it's the default background. And there's a little lock tab next to it, so if you try to delete it, you can't. We can right click on it, and we can click layer from background. And uh, if you click OK on that, it's now unlocked. So you can do pretty much anything with it now. Um, and you can, you can open up the uh, layer styles, or do whatever. Um, but I'm going to run through layer styles right now, in fact. Well, in a minute. So we're going to create a new layer. So this will be called layer 1 as default, because we've got layer 0, layer 1, and so on. Layer 1, as you can see, there's nothing on layer 1. So we're going to get the paintbrush tool. We're going to select whatever you want as the paintbrush. We can select a colour. We're going to go, oh, we're going to change it back to the default. And we're going to select a green, a bright green. And we're going to just spray a line. Now, obviously, this line is not very, you know, strong. And that's because the op opacity is on 50%. If we notch it up to 100, there you go, it's a lot brighter. So we're going to just draw whatever, just this is for an example. Um, so there we go, that's our drawing, we're going to go back to the arrow tool. This is our drawing for layer 1 and as you can see in that small box it shows it. So double click outside of the text that says layer 1 and the layer styles box should appear, so just outside layer 1. Um, layer styles uh, and as you can see down the side we've got lots of different options for editing effectively the, um, the layer. So we can do a drop shadow and as you can see there's a darker shadow around the outside of our thing. If we we can remove that, um, and the shadow goes away. There you go. And you can edit the any of these by clicking on the text. So and then this box will appear on the right hand side, and we can not uh, crank the opacity up to 100, change the color to red, and as you can see, there's a red um, red shadow effectively. Um, Distance, we can change the distance away so it's further away so it looks like the sunlight's going down on a different way. Change it to zero and it looks like it's all around. You can spread it out wider so it looks bigger. Um, we can go anywhere from 1 to 100% or zero actually. So we're going to do 5%, that's the default. You can change the size, any size will do, that's fine. You can just play around until you're happy with any layer that you've created. Um, so you can just fool around with that. We're going to notch this up to um, 13. That works well, whatever works well with whatever thing. In a shadow, obviously gives you a shadow inside the uh, paintbrush tool paint in the layer. You can crank the opacity up, and again, it looks fairly similar to the other one. Uh, the other, like editing. We can do an outer glow. Obviously, you can't really see this because we've already got a white background, but obviously, if it was on a black, black, sorry, black background, you would be able to see a white glow, see, or whatever colour you wanted glowing behind it. And again, you can do an inner glow um, and an outer glow, and the settings are fairly similar for, that, for both of them. Um, an inner glow basically just gives you a glow inside the uh, thing, like a, 
like an inner shadow, basically, but an inner glow. We can do a bevel, at bevel and emboss. This is basically making it look like a button. Effectively, we can crank the depth up to a thousand percent. We can change uh, the size, the softness, whatever you want. And just play around until you're happy with the settings. You can change the angle, etc. Just play around with all of these settings until you're happy with whatever you're creating and the style that uh, you, you want for it. You can add a contour, a texture, so for instance, stripes, different kind of textures, patterns, different patterns, whatever you want. We can take it off and we're gonna, you can add satin, literally you can add anything. You can change colors. Just play around with all of these, seriously. It can be really fun and it can also give you a really great effect. Colour overlay, that obviously just changes the colour of the um, the layer. You can do a gradient overlay, that basically overlays the gradient. Pattern, again pattern and stroke. Stroke is effectively a border. Um, you can change the border size to anything, basically up to, I think it is a thousand, percent, uh, a thousand pixels, but I'm not sure. Um, just play around. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can change the colour of the border or whatever you want to do. Once you're happy with the settings, press OK. We're going to create a new layer, and again, this is default called layer 2. So we are going to change the, we're going to change our, our brush to, what are we going to pick? Splatter. Do we want to, uh, splatter. There we go. And obviously we're going to change the pixel size. So that's, that's good, but we can't see it. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to change it to a colour we will be able to see. So a dark blue. That will work well. And just place it wherever you want. Go back to the arrow tool, and there we go. That's layer two that has the blue so if we if we drag layer two hold with the left um, mouse and drag down it is gone behind layer one layer one is at the top and if we drag layer two below layer sorry layer one below layer two we can see layer two again and you see these eye tools we can just click on one of them and that layer will totally disappear so now we've just got layer two we've made layer one effectively invisible so we can press the box where the eye should be and the eye will reappear and so will the layer. Have fun playing around with layers, they're really important to get good at and have fun designing your graphics. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, please rate and please leave your comments below.